Hello and welcome back. So, uh, tonight, uh, I grabbed a lock that I've, uh, uh I failed on. Um, this one, uh, I tried about a month ago. Um, Trickmaster30 sent this. It is a Schlage Everest. Um, has that little detent in the bottom with the little, uh, uh the keyway. You can see that little hook that comes down and so you got to slide in, kind of knock that detent down before you start picking or at some point during the pick. I always do it at the beginning. I, I think I can usually get it at the beginning. Uh, maybe this one's different. I don't know. Maybe I need to check it more. Uh, but I went for about 13 minutes and total fail. Um, but, uh, like I said, I got it about a month ago and, uh, or tried it about a month ago and, uh, did not have any luck. Um, and he sent this pick with it, uh, really deep hook. Uh, so I'm assuming that it has some serious, um, uh, bidding on it. Um, so I ordered the SS Dev kit, um, which I think you guys already knew because I think I said something about it last, uh, last night. And, um, so I'm going to give that a shot, uh, since they have pretty deep hooks. Um, but we're going to try this again tonight now that I've got the SS Dev kit. And, uh, we'll go from there. My 50,000 fits in there just fine. And, uh, I'm going to come down here and see if I can knock that detent down which I think I just did yeah okay detents knocked down and uh, I'm gonna try the deepest hook I've got from SS Dev and uh, we'll zoom in a little bit more hopefully be out just a little bit there we go and um, let's see what we can do with this hopefully we can get into it uh, there are three things that uh, keep people out of locks for any length of time, and that is crazy keyways, crazy crazy bidding, and crazy pins. This one, I think, has crazy bidding. I think that was five. Um. I wonder if I overset him because I'm not getting a whole lot. Hold on. Oh. A little bit on six there. Okay. I'm really digging deep for something here. <laughs> and I may have overset. Wait a second. Okay, I got a little bit on three there. Oh, a couple clicks on six. A couple clicks on two. That was four. Ooh, another click on six. Two clicks on six. Hmm. Very weird feedback on this lot. Okay, that was a solid click on four, I think. Yeah, that are overset. Got nothing, guys. This is a crazy lock. Ah, I wasn't overset. Wait a second. If that was a good click or a bad click there. Oh. 
Okay, that felt good. That was on four. We'll bet on six. Two is bound. Got a couple clicks on him. More clicks on two. Another click on two. Oh, three, I think it was. Just got a little rotation on the uh, core. I'm kind of, kind of searching for counter. And I think I found it on three. Okay, I got him. Oh, wait a second, a little bit on one. Counter on one. I'll check everybody else here. Getting some strong counter in the back of the lock. Does not want to set though. If I want to mess with him. Oh, there it was. Hoping on one. Holy crap. Okay. That is one hell of a lock, Trekmaster 30. Um, but it is picked. <laughs> wow. Awesome. Okay. This is a... Huh, uh, attempt number two, and I got it open. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's... Um, Zoom out for you guys. Let's get this thing out of the vise and see what Trekmaster 30 put in this awesome, awesome lock. Um, wow. Um, I'm going to see what the bidding looks like on this key. Holy crap. <laughs> wow. Look at that. That is some serious bidding. Jeez Louise. Okay. Um, I was dying to find out. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't normally unmummy keys, but I wanted to know. Let's uh, let's see what Trekmaster 30 put in this awesome lock. Um, has a Schlage core. Oh, man, look at that bidding. That is insane. Okay. Um, should be able to use this to undo it. There we go. Awesome. Get that out with the spring. Okay. And I am going to shim it because it is a challenge lock and I have no idea what he's got in this thing. Um, didn't feel too crazy, but I can tell you that the feedback was very, very sporadic on this lock. Um, let's see. Should be able to use this one. Let's turn it that way just a little bit more just in case. And there we go. Oh, and that was the <laughs> fell out the bottom of the core here. Um, I thought I had my finger on it, but I did not. This right here is the detent and the spring to the detent. I'm gonna put them over here in eight or seven. Okay, let's get these key pins out. 
Um, since I unmummied the key, we are going to check that out. Yeah, look at that. Okay. All the key pins are in and working. As you can see, lots of crazy there. Um, let's see here. One, we have a very nicely serrated key pin. Two, standard, very short. <laughs> Three, very long, serrated. <laughs> short, standard, very long, serrated. And six, very short. And then that is a... the. Uh, that's the pin for the, this is a removable core, so that's what this pin right here is. It goes in what would be kind of seven, but you don't pick that one, so not unless you're going to do the removable core. Uh, let's get that shim out and see what Trekmaster 30 put in the top of this. Awesome, awesome lock, man. Okay, in one we have... A very serrated uh, T-pin, and a copper spring, and a serrated chamber I can already see. And two, we have a serrated key pin, or serrated driver, and pull that back just a hair, a copper spring. We have a another serrated and another copper spring. And we have a serrated and a copper spring. And a spool, a very sharp spool, and a copper spring, and I'm going to go the other direction and get six out, because I want to see, I want to make sure I get him out the right direction. Okay, this is, the six is a serrated, should be a copper string from looks like it. that was the uh, part of the actuator for the let's see there we go copper spring awesomeness okay um, in the I didn't look at that but in the plug it looks like one has threading one three and five um, or, yeah, one, three, and five are threaded. Hopefully my camera's picking some of that up. Um, yeah. And then in the Bible, it looks like one, three, and five. Same, same up top. So, uh, let's see if I can get some light on that. Yeah, you might as well see one, three, on the back, five. So, awesome lock, man. Uh, very, very cool. Um, let's zoom in, show these awesome pens. Alright. In one, we had a serrated key pin and a serrated T-pin driver. Uh, then in two, we had a short, very short key pin standard and a serrated, very sharp serrations on that key pin. Or, I mean, on that, on that driver. Uh, and then we had a, another serrated key pin and a very tight serrated, uh, uh, driver. Then we have a standard and a, another serrated, uh, driver. Then we have a serrated key pin and a very nice looking spool. And then a standard and a serrated driver and in, uh, all copper springs. And then over here, that is the uh, detent. Uh, that's the detent and the spring. And that is actually for the, um, the actuator for the um, uh, removable core there. Because uh, this being an FSI, uh, LFIC. So, 
Uh, Trekmaster, thank you for this awesome, awesome lock. Uh, everybody else, thank you for watching. Thank you for your time, and don't break. All right, guys. Uh, huh, just noticed something. I was getting ready to put this back together, and uh, found something out here. And I'm going to check the rest of these while I've got it. Um, but it's apparently driver number three uh, was not just a serrated pin. It was a pin and pin. Uh, as you can see from this, that uh, that was a pin and pin. Um, there's a hole. Oop, there we go. Hole in the key pin. So yeah, um, it was not only a serrated, but it was also a pin and pin. So awesome, awesome job on these pins again, Trekmaster 30. Thank you for this awesome lock. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, well, don't break the law.